Did he broke her soul? Did he broke her soul? He broke her soul. Hey, so Young Miami said, I'm deleting my social accounts. Y'all don't appreciate me. Really, she's saying she's deleting her social accounts because she feels stupid and dumb. And, you know, she watches what the blogs say. She watches what his YouTubers say. And she feels hella dumb. So she wants to delete all her socials. Usually, you know how, like, when you delete your socials, you your feelings is hurt. So it's like you delete everything. You're embarrassed. She's embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? In academics, when I was watching my video back, I heard him talking about the fact that she talked about, like, in golden showers. And, um... Somebody in my comments said, does, how does he, how does, how does he feel? How does Diddy feel that she said that she likes golden showers and his daughters, like he got twin daughters. And I'm like, exactly. Like what type of woman do you know? You are, you are, you trying to be a, a man's woman and you are going to literally go on TV and say some effery like that. And you supposed to want to be his girlfriend. It's like, if you the girlfriend, that means you the stepmom. You think Diddy finna let you anywhere near his daughters? A city girl? But anywho, y'all, she wants to delete her um social medias. Girl, I would too if I were you. I mean, that's embarrassing. Like, I, I mean, at this point, it's like, girl, delete them. Like, go away for about 30 days. Go collect your self-esteem and self-love and, and come back and, you know, do better with your life. It's sad because her reputation is forever ruined. Like, you got niggas, DJ Academics, literally, I didn't even hear him, but I finally got to hear him better. He was like, oh... He basically was like, don't nobody want to commit to you. You a single parent. You get pissed off. Like, that's what she's known for now. You really, you let money do this to you. You literally let money fuck you over like this. You chose money over your name. The The scripture says a good name is it's finer than gold. It's way more beautiful and, and, and better than gold. All you have is your name. People can take money from you, but what's behind your name matters. You could be broke, rich, whatever, but your name matters. So when people say your name, what do people think of? Do they do they respect you, or do they look at you like a, like like some whore? Now you you don't mess yourself up. Like now, if you have if you wanted to have a husband, if you wanted to talk about anything um, concerning a relationship or anything, don't don't bet on this, sweetheart. None of these dudes is gonna take you serious. You look you you just not that. Like you really slutted yourself out, and you you sat up there and tried to play like you know you were gonna get somewhere with Diddy, and it's like no. And then you played yourself trying to chase after money, and then you sacrificed your whole freaking soul your dignity your integrity as a woman your self-respect now all these niggas is in the this is not even me all these niggas on the internet men are laughing at her and they calling her a hoe was it worth it money's never worth it girls don't be a city girl don't be young miami don't be foolish money is never that serious go boss up and go make your own money go think about a, a brilliant business plan ladies and you know go into business and do whatever you have to do work your nine to five get money on your own and you if when you meet a man that loves you if he wants to make you a housewife and you don't work cool but like don't ever don't ever try to use men for money and think that's not going to backfire don't ever try to chase after money like billions and think that that's not gonna come with pain like she literally ruined herself you know and it's like now you want to delete all your social media accounts i agree she needs to go on the hiatus okay and she needs to come back pure baptized in like triple chlorine strength because the the things that she's done it's like girl you played yourself bad like these girls out here these girls that you've been fighting with diddy over they're not even stunting diddy because they know what he what it is with him they all know what it is with him. They were the smart ones. These these young Miami fans, they were like, oh, he favors her over the girls. You really think that if them girls didn't want to tap, if they wanted to tap in, Miami would be non-existent. If Joy wanted to tap in, Miami would be non-existent. And she knows that. That's why she keeps copying her. If Gina, his old flame for, for, for eight years, if she wanted to tap in, she could have Diddy if she wanted him, but they know how he operate. And so they, they, they don't they don't go that far with him. If they have fun, they have fun, but they, they don't go that far. They don't take Diddy seriously. She was the bird, the slow one, the only one that was running around making a fool of herself. And all the girls, they just laid back smart as hell. Like, I got my own nigga who claimed me like joy. I had my fun, and it was that was that. I'm not finna sit up here and take no Diddy seriously. I know what time it is. Them girls were, way, were smart. 
You know, they were very smart. And they and that's why none of those girls got dragged except for Carisha. And that's sad. It's like, damn, you give you give the whole city of Miami a bad fucking name because like not every girl like no. You don't it's like a poor representation. It's like that's that's crazy. But anywho, y'all, Shorty wants to um delete her social accounts. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Why? Why does she want to delete her social media? For me, I see I I'm saying I'm I'm seeing embarrassment. You know, she's embarrassed. Um, but I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> I'd be genuinely curious, have these people ever seen or heard a demon before or it's just trend? Because I feel like if you have, you'd stop playing. Really nothing funny or cute about it. May God be with y'all. And that's facts. That's big facts. Um, this is, um, she's right. Have you ever seen a demon before? I have. Um, I've seen a live possession before. Um, I'm Haitian, so back in the day. Caribbean people like voodoo, black magic in the Dominican Republic. Every, they have Santa Maria everywhere in the Caribbean and Africa. It's a it's a religion, literally black magic, all of that. Roots, all of that is a religion. So in the Caribbean, out in the open, people do things and because it's counted as a religion. And over here in the U.S., they hide it. The, the music industry is ran by a whole bunch of dark individuals, okay? That whole selling your soul thing for fame and money is real, okay? And they're not trying to hide it anymore. His whole set, Uzi's whole stage setup is very demonic, and it's just red, red, red. And JT's in a relationship with this dude. And JT made it clear why she's in the relationship. She was like, she don't want to go back to the projects. And I'm just thinking to myself, bro... Like, you got to be the laziest, most, I don't, under, like, these, I don't, you got to be the laziest person in the world to be put on a platform, how you got put on a platform, to have talent, for y'all both to have talent, and for y'all to really ruin y'all brand like this. One person's getting pissed on, Young Miami, and you got Uzi, who basically is in the crib with you. you you're like a stay-at-home girlfriend, you're not even a wife. You staying at home playing a wife, but you're not a wife. And he out here disrespecting you and, um, you know, saying stuff like that. And the thing is, is that this beginning, the beginning of this performance, if you listen to, if you listen to the beginning of the performance, that song in particular, when it starts, you hear like moaning and you hear like sexual noises. And that's JT. Basically, he uses, he used JT's, um, moaning in her, clearly, they filmed something and he voiced it over into the record and he was basically making it a part of the record. And, you know, if you listen to the beginning of that song, so it's like exploiting her, you know, what type of man will sit up there and put your moans and put whatever you film and record t together on a whole mother freaking record for everybody to hear. Like, it was so cringeworthy to me. Like, the whole crowd is hearing you scream and do all this stuff. And it was so nasty to me. Because I'm like, damn, what you do in your bedroom with your man is, like, what you do in the bedroom with your man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should not, and your man should never want anybody to know what you sound like, what you look like. None of that. But it's like, the thing is, is that Young Miami, she, she was trying to get with the billionaire. You know, trying to get, like, become a girlfriend or whatever. Fail. Um, completely abandoned her career. They abandoned the city girls to chase men. Young Miami failed, and Karish, uh, and JT. She looks like the one that's better off because Uzi claimed her. But the thing is, is that it don't matter if someone claim you. Are you being loved? Are you being loved? You in a relationship, and he claim you, but he's just a dude that claims you. But are you being loved? For him to sit up there and say something like that, I make a city girl believe in Satan. Basically, he he he's into that stuff. You know, he's deep in the industry. And if you're dating him, what you think you're going to be? He's dead ass serious. And so, like, she's there for the financial stability. And I'm saying, like, damn, like, 
Why are y'all so project? Why are y'all so basic? Y'all got mentality. Y'all got like project mentality. All the all the y'all celebrities. You are the city girls. You basically have talent. You can literally bind together, focus on focus on your career, come out with another album, promote, promote, promote. They halted everything to be in relationships, in unhealthy, toxic relationships, and it's sad. Like it just shows you that being famous does not mean you don't have issues. Like these girls have serious daddy issues, mommy issues, you name it. They just really just like, JT seemed like the type that want to be loved so bad. She's staying up on the Uzi because her mom was like, and she revealed her mom used to be on drugs. It's a lot of childhood trauma going on. And these city girls, they're not going to therapy to try to fix it. They over here self-destructing. Like, you would a dude that literally is on the other side of the, on the other side of life uh, of God. And... He's basically letting the whole world know whatever you doing, like you, you know, he got you turned and then he don't love you. He's, he's, he's literally exploiting you, putting you on records, your moans and all of that. It, you, he's putting it out there for people to hear, meaning he's using you and exploiting you for money. That's no love. So you can be, you know, they both are in messed up situations. And I remember when, at one point I liked the city girls because I'm from Miami. So seeing them make it, I was like, finally, I can see people like me who, you know, are Miami and I can relate to them. And I, and it's like, I really like them. And then it's like, all of a sudden, everything just went left. People started to like, they started getting in relationships. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, you know, Southside, Uzi. Then it's like things went real, real left. And then you got Diddy and then you got Uzi. Things just pre uh, advance. And it's like, they are not the same girls they used to be when they came out. They got not better, but they got worse. They halted their whole career and they halted, you know, everything and let these girls surpass her, like them, like Glorilla, I Spice. All these girls are coming out. Y'all should have been applying pressure to make it hard, you know, for for you, for these other girls to to solidify yourself. You know what I'm saying? To solidify yourself. So it's like, it's I Spice is the new wave now. Um, I don't get the hype, but she's here. Okay, and um, Glorilla is here to stay as well. So it's like the city girls. Ain't nobody checking for the city girls no more. Like if they want, if they want people to check for them, they got one more shot. Like they need to really, really like realize and understand. You need to go to therapy and fix your childhood issues. Trying to be up under a dude like this, he disrespects you. He calls you a prostitute online when he's mad at you, and you basically he's now telling the whole world that you worship Satan and he turned you into it, and then. Young Miami is, you know, Diddy don't pay her no mind. So it's like, you only got one more shot. They only got one more shot to prove, to, to remove these people from their lives and focus on them. Love yourself. Love yourself. Go to They don't love themselves. Go to therapy. Love yourself. Figure your shit out. Love yourself. JT needs therapy bad. Her attitude is so bad. She's mad at the whole world. As soon as, as, soon as she wake up, upset. I, I, I'm pretty much, I, I pretty much am sure that as soon as she wake up, like, forget God waking you up. She's just upset. But um, about the possession I saw, when, when I was younger, long time ago, um, a family member of mine got possessed. And um, it was not a good, it, 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 the house just got dark. You know, it was a very calm demon. And it was asking for cigarettes. And when you when when, when someone possessed their whole body, they're taken over. The demon has taken over, and there is basically the, the the person, your family member, whoever it is, is not there. The demon is in complete control. So it's like I saw that before in the Caribbean. A lot of you know um different things people do, and so you know that person clearly is involved in that. And of course, if you invite the demons to your home, or if you basically make your your body a temple, a place of resting for the demons, you keep playing with them. The demons are gonna play back, and so it played back, and it possessed her, and it was a calm one. It wasn't violent, thankfully, because there are some demons that are violent. But it was just chilling and it was like dark. It was scary. It was very, very, people were walking on eggshells. Like, of course, I kept their G, but it's like, because I know that, of course, can't nobody do nothing to me because I'm covered by Jehovah. But it was not a good, it was not a good feeling. Nobody was, it was, everybody was unsettled. So when these, and it's like they, these people, they, I don't, they, they be doing this stuff. And it's like, you not even built to see a real demon in action. Like y'all over here wearing red and acting a fool, but have you ever seen a real possession before? Have you ever seen that before? 
That's what Summer Walker is saying. She probably seen it before. I've seen it. I've seen it. And um, that person fell asleep. The demon left her because I I had went out to like the near the market. When I came home a couple of hours later, my loved one um fell asleep and it left and she woke up, fell asleep for hours. She woke up herself. So it's like, yo, y'all be doing the most. And it's like, have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? Have you ever experienced something that's not even a good feeling the whole house was just so freaking dark it was like dark energy it's not a good feeling bro i i ain't gonna i was scared i wasn't like you know showing it i was being brave but i was scared as hell like what the hell is this thing gonna do what if it decides to go from calm to jumping you know what i'm saying so it's like, like Summer Walker said, if you knew what, if you experienced that, if you saw it, or if you were around that, y'all wouldn't be doing this. You know what I'm saying? But hey, the industry is dark. They probably, they're okay with it. But I feel like this right here is off a show. Clearly, like, you not, because if you really saw one, or saw one in action, if you really saw Satan at work, um, I really, really highly doubt you would be doing all of this. Like, this is all show. Like, these niggas ain't never seen nothing before. Like, Summer Walker is insinuating. Like, they, they have not. Because if they did, they wouldn't be doing all this. It would be very, very, very less, you know, um, it would, it, he would be less, uh, no, he wouldn't be wearing all red. It would be less flashy because that's some scary ass shit. So, if I see, if I, if I've seen something like that before, what do I look like getting on stage talking about Satan? Like people, they don't really understand. Like, have you ever, have you actually experienced Satan? Have you actually, have you ever, I literally sat there and looked at the person and I witnessed the person completely gone and the demon was just talking in place and was basically completely, completely overtook that person. And I, I saw this for myself and it's like, if you saw it, who's going to be hopping around about that? Everybody was walking, like I said, everybody in the house was walking around. I was in Haiti at, Haiti at that time. Everybody was walking around on eggshells, begging, praying for that thing to leave. Okay? Like, literally. You know? It, it, it's not, a, it, you can feel the darkness. Like, it's like, oh my God, get me out of here. But everybody was just like relaxed and trying to keep calm. You know, trying to not let it smell fear. Literally. We just chilling, keeping it calm. And then finally I leave it. I come back, you know, they fall asleep and, it, and, you know, they wake up regular. That's not nothing to play with, bro. That he definitely ain't never seen nothing like that in his life. Like someone walk is saying, like, if y'all really, what you say? If you have, you'd stop playing. Exactly. You don't know what that, baby, if you ever saw a demon at work or Satan at work, or uh, you would stop playing around because y'all niggas are not built like that. I'm from the Caribbean. I'm Caribbean. So I know certain things and I've seen certain things and it, it, it even scared me, but I kept it together. These niggas see something like that. Things I've seen, these niggas would be scared God into God again. Like, but anywho, um, JT and young Miami, it, it's like they do anything for money. She's staying with Uzi and Uzi's doing all of this and she's staying for financial stability. Somebody was like, why she keeps staying for money? Ain't they say, she, ain't they say they city girls? JT's in a relationship, not for love, but for money. And young Miami was trying to get in a relationship with Diddy to secure a bag. They, they're lazy. They don't want to work. They want to have a man take care of them. And it's like, and, 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 and this is the price for it. This is what you're willing to pay. The whole world knowing whatever you do with your man, you do it too. He got you doing it. Like the whole world. And it's like not everybody's judging you. Now people like Summer Walker's coming out and, and, and you know, saying stuff. And your man is embarrassing you, okay? Exploiting you on tracks to make money. You know, revealing your, int your intimate moments. Like, bro, like, come on now. But, um, anywho, uh... Yeah, if you want to get in the music industry, anybody coming up, the best thing you can do is go independent. Because if you want to be big in this world, you're going to have to pay something. Like, if you want to be... some A wise person once said, if you want to be big and famous in this world, in Satan's world, don't you think he's going to want something back? Yes, he's going to want something back. And you think they just get this fame and money like just by talent? No. No, they don't get this fame and money just by talent. No, they have talent, but if, imagine 
they have something else behind them and they basically do certain things and make certain deals and 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 do certain things um their whole career to keep up this you know success because there's a lot of talented people and when you grow up you're like well why didn't they make it and this one made it? It's because some people are not willing to sell their soul and do the things these artists are doing. This shit right here comes with a price. It comes with a price. So when you see a singer like fall off, quote unquote, or you know, you hear people that are so talented, not really out there, it's because they are not willing to do this. You know what I'm saying? So that that crowd, the money. The craziness that you guys see, the fame, that comes with a price. That shit do not come free, honey. The devil comes to collect. Like, you want all of this? Okay, well, you're going to have to do this. You know, you're going to have to worship me forever. You're going to have to do this. You know what I'm saying? It comes with a price, and some people aren't willing to pay that price. Uzi paid it. You know, he's in it. But some artists that are so talented, they can't never make it to Rihanna's level, Beyonce level, because they're not willing to do the things that these artists are, are willing to do. So... That's crazy. Your own man, like, it's like all it's for money. But see, the love of money is the root of all evil. And it causes people to stab themselves all over with many pains. When you love money, you stab your own self all over with pain. Like, you experience painful things, like humiliation like this. This is your man, and he, he's humiliating you from start to finish. Young Miami, Diddy's humiliating her from start to finish. Okay, to the point where she's like, okay, well, I give up. I'm sharing, you know? But y'all, um, I saw this. People were sending it to me. I saw it. And um, yeah, you know, it, it. this is nothing new. You need to understand the fame that these people get. We sit at home and we're like, you know, if 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 the industry was all about, didn't have any dark forces, if there was no such thing as selling your soul, a lot of people would be on. There's a lot of artists that would not even make it, you know, because they don't have the talent that this one has. But the thing is, is that what makes that person who's less talented shoot through the roof and the person that knows how to sing for real, for real, they stay down. It's because the person that shoot through the roof is willing to do certain things that other people aren't, you know. So if you want to be an artist, I would say be go independent and make this music and do it because you love it and to express your emotions not to like be famous or anything because this fame should have come with a price, baby. I never, as a, as a kid, I used to want to be a singer and, you know, I would feel like God is like telling me no. And he was because of shit like this. Okay. It's a real fucking thing. It's a real thing. Niggas be out here really making deals with the, with the devil. Definitely for the, for, for the fame and the crowd that they are currently entertaining. Okay.